हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलिट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस वीडियो इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज कंसर्न अबाउट द लास्ट मिनट इंपॉर्टेंट टिप्स फॉर द एआरएस आर एस नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर यस हियर वी विल डिस्कस दैट हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन वी शुड अटेम्प्ट इन ऑर्डर टू क्वालिफाई दिस एग्जाम एंड आई हैल्सो कलेक्टेड सम ऑफ मोर प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन विच विल ऑल्सो गिव यू एन हिंट वट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग So I hope you have already gone through the playlist of the ARS Net Environmental Science. So without much delay, let's get started. So first of all, there was a question many times asked that how many questions you should attempt. Yes, हम कितना questions हमें attempt करना चाहिए? उसके लिए हमें जानना चाहिए what is the minimum qualifying marks in this ARS Net examination? Yes, we all should know and we will be knowing that total of one fifty marks. 150 objective type multiple choice questions will be given and we have to solve in the 2 hours duration and here it is clearly stated that minimum qualifying marks for the unreserved and ews category is 75 marks that is 50% of the total marks and for obc it is 67.5 marks for sc st pwbd it is 60 marks so for this how many questions you should attempt so in my suggestion for the unreserved and ews category minimum question you should attempt should be 100 yes minimum 100 questions aapko attempt karna hai because 75 you should get at least and there is the negative marking yes one by third mark will be deducted so if something goes wrong some of the questions from the 100 questions are wrong then also you will be able to get the minimum qualifying marks that is 75 marks so for ews and unreserved category 100 questions you should minimum attempt in this paper similarly for the obc category you should minimum attempt 90 question and for sc st pw bd category you should minimum attempt 80 to 85 questions so now we will know some of the previous questions which i have collected and it was very difficult to collect all these questions but i was able to manage because it will help you in the examination so the first question is from the ars net 2012 examination the question was among the following chemical species of mercury which is the most toxic form so this question is not clear also but here it is mentioned in option a that is hg2 for your convenience i am telling you so i'll wait for certain seconds then i'll reveal so let us not wait for certain seconds i will directly tell the answer because no need to waste the time the answer will be option number c r hg plus r means the methyl group and here the organo mercurials group that is methyl mercury you all will be knowing that it is the most toxic form of mercury but here no where it is given methyl mercury but here this statement is telling that this option r hg plus that is organo mercurials are the most toxic form of mercury so now i will tell you that the second question is also very very important because this question is asking that nocni syndrome in which outward bending of legs is seen in the patients from the knee occurs is caused by which of the following elements toxicity so this was also in the net 2012 ars examination and why i am telling this concept is important because there are several important elements which are related to the environmental diseases due to their cause you will know here also before that we will know the answer of this question the answer will be option number c fluoride toxicity causes this nocni syndrome yes one more thing also you should note down that silica also in high amount when it is concentrated in the water it also leads to the nocni syndrome so fluoride along with the silica high amount in the water causes this nocni syndrome and i will tell you now six important diseases related to the pollution and i am sure one of them will be definitely coming in the exam so kindly note it down first is meth hemoglobinemia which is also the blue baby syndrome disease is caused by the water with high nitrate amount yes with high nitrate amount in the water it causes skin of blue color which is also called as cyanosis disease so three name here cyanosis meth hemoglobinemia blue baby syndrome now coming to the second disease that is called as black foot disease yes this is caused by the inorganic arsenic that is black foot disease the third thing you should note down is silicosis disease silicosis is due to the presence of high silica 
exposure which is affecting our lungs which is mostly due to the exposure in the cement factory in the construction work then this silica goes to our lungs and causes silicosis disease fourth one is the most common one very frequently asked itai itai disease which is caused by cadmium poisoning cadmium elemental formula is cd itai itai disease is caused or it is also known as ouch ouch disease coming to the next important disease caused by the mercury poisoning mercury that is hg we have learned in the first question and the disease name is yes mina mata disease that is caused by the mercury poisoning so these are from the japan originated from japan now let's move to the next slide for some of the more question next question is forest conservation act was enforced in which of the following year so here most of you will be confused that there are two things one is forest conservation act whose answer will be 1980 this is option b correct one more thing you should know that indian forest act that is ifa you can say in short form it was in the year 1927 so don't get confused indian forest act in the year 1927 forest conservation act in the year 1980 and these acts are very important and i have already made a quiz on our telegram page so you can go there i'll provide today the link and you can search there that all the acts will be in a particular quiz if you are attending so within 2 to 3 minutes you will be able to know around 20 important environmental acts which are going to be very very important in the exam coming to the next question which was also taken from the ars net 2012 examination the question is as follows that agent orange used by the americans in the vietnam war during the years 1961 to 1971 consisted mainly of which of the following chemicals so mixture of which chemicals and the correct option will be option number a yes a mixture of 24d and a mixture of 245t so what are these these are 24 dichlorophenoxy acetic acid that is called as 24d and 245 is 245t is trichlorophenoxy acetic acid that is 245t and containing the traces of 2378 tetrachlorodibenzo para dioxin so that is tcdd so all these are composition of the agent orange which was a chemical used by the americans in vietnam war to destroy the plant covering and here i would like to say that you should also know the concepts of ddt biomagnification eutrophication ozone these things are also very frequently asked so i'm just reminding you coming to the next slide few more important questions here from the previous year's ars net 2012 question paper the question was center for environmental education is located at which of the following places in india and here the correct option will be option number b ahmedabad yes c double e that is center for environment education is situated in ahmedabad gujarat and many more important centers are there that can be also asked you should not get confused first is center for science and environment so csc this is slightly different this is not c double e so center for science and environment it is situated in new delhi so don't get confused one more thing is also very confusing like this that is center for environmental studies that is ces so that is simply csc is opposite center for environmental studies which is located in odisha so which is located in odisha now you should also know niri that is national environmental engineering research institute which is situated the headquarters is in nagpur there are certain five zonal quarters also but headquarters is in nagpur that is niri and finally you should also know because it is conducted by the agriculture research institute so icar that is indian council for agriculture research the headquarter is located in also new delhi so i hope you are writing down all these things now coming to the next question the next question was also from the 2012 paper the question was in india the shifting cultivation is practiced mostly in which of the following states and i know everybody will be able to answer this even the small kid of school will be able to answer the correct option will be in the northeastern states of india the shifting cultivation is practiced mostly and shifting cultivation other name are also very important they are jhum cultivation or slash and burn agriculture so these are the things so these were some of the questions from previous year now we will know the most important thing because 
before the exam you can go and you can watch the videos which we have already made in our channel and no need to go and no need to search each and every playlist because some of which will be not useful for example if you are going for current affairs that much questions are not asked in this examination but rapid revision you must see you must see the environmental pollution and solid waste management playlist so i have provided the playlist as ars net agriculture research service and in which all these videos which are important i have added it you can go and you can view all this video as per your convenience as you know that which is important for you you will go and you will watch that video that will be very important but i remind you don't skip the revision series revision playlist that is very very important and finally the most important thing is that if you're going for the examination believe that you can and you are halfway there yes if you believe that you can crack this exam you will be able to crack this and you are already halfway there to conquer this examination and next important thing is trust yourself yes you know more than you think you do so some of you will be thinking that yes i have not completed the complete syllabus i have not gone through the papers but trust yourself that you know more than you think you do yes you are having the ability you are having the previous knowledge and it will come up in the examination so believe in yourself all the best for the examination give your 100%